So let's talk uh, and uh, try to understand what is MOS here again. So remember, MOS is a majority carrier device. It means the current that will flow through the device will be either due to electrons or due to the holes. So because it's a semiconductor device. So you see there is a structure of a MOS transistor shown over here. So here P-type semiconductor is there. And this is uh, acting uh, as a body or the substrate or the bulk of the device. Okay. And in the bulk of a device or in the body of a device, we have two doped region N plus and N plus. So this is another semiconductor, which is N plus semiconductor. So one forms the source of a device. Another doped region forms the drain of a device. And on top of that, yellow shows the oxide and top of that, the black shows another uh, terminal called as gate. So when you apply a voltage at the gate, there is a, a sufficient number of charge carriers between source and the drain and the current starts flowing from drain to source. Okay, so this is the N type of MOSFET and MOS where the majority carriers are electrons. So when you apply a positive voltage at the gate, there are sufficient number of electrons that will gather over here. And with the polarity of drain to the positive terminal and source connected to the negative terminal, current will flow from drain to source. In other words, the electrons will travel from source to drain. So remember, uh, the MOS is a majority carrier devices. And the current in the conducting channel, when the, once the channel is formed after application of the voltage at the gate, the current in this conducting channel between the source and the drain will be controlled by the voltage you apply at the gate. Now, NMOS, we call this as a NMOS, the majority carriers are electrons, as I had just mentioned before. But if it has to be a PMOS transistor, as shown over here, you see the NMOS is like here, similar to this picture, we have a P substrate in which two heavily doped region indicated by N plus and N plus, and you have a gate terminal, you apply voltage at this and connect drain and source to the respective terminal and the current will flow from drain to source once the channel is formed. Here is an extra terminal P plus, it is just to connect the, uh, have a connection to the body of the device. Now, if you want to create a PMOS transistor, what you do, you have a doped N-well region in the P-substrate and in the N-well, you create two P-plus regions as shown over here. And again, you call one it as a drain, one terminal as a source, you have an oxide and top of that you have metal or polysilicon and then this terminal you call it as a gate. So when you apply a sufficient voltage at the grade, gate terminal, you have a number of carriers in the channel between source and the drain. And the current in this conducting channel between the source and drain will be again controlled by the voltage you apply at the gate. Okay, so since this is a PMOS transistor, as I just mentioned, the majority carrier in the channel are the holes. So just to summarize, in the NMOS transistor, the majority carriers are electrons. In the PMOS transistor, the majority carriers are holes. And the current in the conducting channel between the source and the drain in each of these transistor will be controlled by the voltage you apply at the gate. So final line, we will say the MOS is a majority carrier device.